guys, it is great to meet you. Lovely to, to meet you. Nice to have you back Thank as you. well. Thank you. Nice to have you um, back. We saw a lot of arguing in, in the documentary, which I'm very curious because I think I'm always self-conscious when there's a camera on me, but did you guys hold back from arguing with each other or what you say to each other or did we get you no know, bars hold kind of look? We made a very, very conscious decision that we would not edit ourselves. We are notoriously fake uh, sorry I'm saying we are notoriously private people mm. and we are uncomfortable like you said as well and but we realized that if this was going to be in any way something that we would be proud of that um, it would be annoying to us if it wasn't completely authentic and uh, what you see is what you get with us I mean uh, unfortunately in some ways the arguments are absolutely real and we, I think in some ways we were still holding back <laughs> I, d I don't know if we were really. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, I, th I think it comes to a point you have to get used to relinquishing the parameters of censorship and th years of, say, celebrity. And like you said, you, you know, in front of the camera, you have to consider that. But the whole point of it, after 30 years, you, you have that privilege of saying, we're going to make a movie, we're going to make a film here, and we're going to document something, which in essence, as Madison once said, is like a s snapshot. It doesn't represent maybe all of us, but I don't know the point or what the point would be in creating something that's really just a piece of fluff or a promo. Yeah. If you're going to do it, then you just have to, you, you have to learn to let go of that training and you're in front of the camera as we are. Yeah. And it takes a minute to get used absolutely, to that. Absolutely, absolutely. What's it like for you guys watching the old performances back? Because I, I love it when I watch, like I've never performed, but like when you watch pop stars who you've adored growing up and you watch their performances back, for us it's like nostalgic and it makes you feel young, but for you guys watching yourselves back, what's that like? It's a nice perspective to hear that because that this is exactly what it is. Like we, we hear that people like to hear the, to see the old stuff. But I've actually got to a point where I understand that fashion changes and styles change and music changes. And I'm really glad that we were part of the eighties and the nineties. But where fashion was so prominent, uh, fashion was probably just as as important in some ways as the music, and um, for many many bands. So. I look at it with, with great um, love in a way, like I look at some of the dodgy shoulder pads and the, and the high-waisted jeans that it was just, it was just, I'm glad that, and I'm glad that I've got those memories that there isn't too, I don't like people that are too cool for school, I like the whole uh, growth and learning more about what you love and, and now I know what I love in fashion and music and and I'm still learning and growing. The same for me, but obviously you have those moments where you think, oh dear. And then, uh, and also some moments where I think, you know, almost in a th as if it's somebody else, like, oh, bless him, or even my brother. I'm like, oh, we, you know, we were very young and I just, but it's, it's a journey, isn't it? It's, and, it's, and it's being documented, you know, continually. But I look back at it with a lot of fondness, but it's, like I say, sometimes the odd ouchy moment, but it, not that it bothers me for real. We saw that you guys obviously, um, in LA and Vegas now. Have you guys got any regrets about leaving London at all? Like when you come back here, like you're here now? Like <clears throat> I think it's a, it was a necessity for a while because we were so busy trying to defend ourselves with the same old questions and it was it was it was it wasn't pleasant and I think as artists you you crave ways to express yourself, ways to feel authentic, ways to feel current and it was like we're trying to walk in sticky mud um, and it was somewhat aggressive at times, and so we both went overseas to see and find out who we were who, and what made us tick. And I think so, I don't know about you, but from my own point of view, I definitely think it was a necessity. But I absolutely, I miss the country, especially the last couple of trips. I really, really love the permanency of it, the architecture, the vibe, the kind of camaraderie that Brits have with each other. I miss it. You know, there's a comfort with Brits you don't have in the States, no. I think we have very different perspectives on this, like almost polar opposites. I mean, I've been coming in here for a long, long time. I tour every year, play the Royal Albert Hall. I, you know, I play my shows. So I've enjoyed coming back here. So I've come back here a lot. I go to the parks. Um, so I think just staying in music, and Luke's often said his medium is he doesn't get to see the whites of the eyes, but my, I've never left stage since the band. It's literally from the second I left the band, I, I was on Carnegie Hall in New York City within eight months of leaving Bros. So I've never ever, and don't get me wrong, it's been a graft, but I've 
I, I love coming back here. And no, me, me too. I mean, then it was relevant. Yeah. That's what I meant to them. I love being back now, but it, I think it was necessary then, for sure. Have you got anything back in the US that reminds you of, of London? Like, a lot of people go abroad and they'll go and find a pub and they'll do stuff that actually they're abroad. I watched, but... the, I watched the World Cup okay. in, in, in the Crown and Anchor in Vegas. Okay. And it's full of Brits. There's 30,000 Brits in Vegas. And, uh, so, yeah, I'll go down to the Crown and Anchor and watch the, the World Cup there and and uh, raise a, f a fair few pints over there, so that's good. When I come back, I, I'm all about it. But the problem is, the, 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 after, I'm going to say it, the British pubs in LA are kind of like dodgy versions of British pubs. <laughs> and so I'm just like, I get nothing from it. But I'd love being in a pub here, for sure. And, and the fact you can stand out, you know, saying, like Putney, you can stand on the river and have a drink. Oh, can you still do that? You can't? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm getting a nod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, when you know what the real deal is, it's yeah. like saying, you know, I like fish and chips, and then you go and get one out of a freezer. It's like, no, it's, yeah. it's not fish and chips. Oh, what? Yeah. 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 Yeah.